Good morning, I'm Angela Paul, the President of the Asia-Pacific Student Services Association, APSA, and also the CEO of Methodist College Kuala Lumpur. Today, I'm going to share with you what the Ministry of Higher Education in Malaysia is doing that provides the guidelines to all student affairs departments in handling the COVID-19 pandemic with regards to students in higher education institutions. The first thing was to set in place the SOPs for the Malaysian students who will be entering back into their campuses. Before entering the campus, all higher education institutions have to implement specific schedules for students who are returning to their campuses to avoid overcrowding and only students without symptoms are allowed to return to their campus. During the arrival, students will have to undergo a health screening. If they are showing any symptoms of the virus, they will be referred to a hospital for further checks. If they have no symptoms, they will be allowed to register themselves on campus. After the arrival, and once the screening is completed, students then will be able to register themselves for their program and classes respectively on campus. The second thing was the processes that have been set in managing students that are on campus. With regards to hostels and accommodation, students are required to observe social distancing at all times. They are also to practice the 3 W concept, wash your hands, wear your mask, and warn as a reminder not to shake hands, practice good hygiene, disinfect areas, and stay at home. They are also avoid the three C's, confined spaces, crowded places, and close contact with people. Besides this, all washrooms and toilets will be sanitized at regular intervals and social distancing rules also be practiced in the common areas. A reminder that bedroom windows are to be kept open at all possible times to allow proper ventilation. And for the students who live off campus, a special unit will be set up to coordinate with the students. With regards to other facilities, sanitization will be conducted frequently at facilities that are often used. Social distancing will be practiced at all times, and the entry and exit points of each campus will be limited. All in all, the cafeterias take away prepared food will be encouraged as well as the usage of cashless transactions. And finally, the last thing that has been set up is the management of student activities. For sports and recreation, sport activities that are allowed are individual sports, non-contact team sports, air or extreme sports, leisure sports, and water sports. All sports-related activities have to follow strictly the SOPs that have been released by the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the National Security Council. For clubs and societies, all seminars, meetings and courses organised must comply with the regulated SOP and the number of participants is limited to the space available and the necessary social distancing measurements to be taken. Also, online programs are encouraged and the organiser must comply and adhere to the regulated SOP. All these, done, all these are done adhering to the regulated SOPs by the government. These are the measures that the higher education institutions in Malaysia are required to do and some are already doing. We are thankful to God that in Malaysia, the pandemic numbers are low and things are under control. And all the institutions will work with the government to ensure all the SOPs are, uh, are followed until the pandemic is over or a vaccine is found. Wish everyone here stay safe 
and stay protected.